Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tune of all ages, I'm Sanky84 and welcome back to Castle Flipper where, yeah, today we're going to look at building a room inside of the castle because, yeah, we can now build rooms and houses for anybody. So we've got the individual ones down there. We have got the... Um, multiple ones or kind of like a tavern in sort of one down there and yeah today we're going to build ourselves the castle with a keep uh, well when I say we're going to build it we're just going to do part of it because yes we've now got a royal treasurer that we need to do and let's just jump down here shall we first and there we go, thank you. Yeah, um, down here, let's um, just collect the rent. Yeah, there is a few bits I want to clear up before we do actually start. Some things that can get a little bit frustrating, but we'll get into that in a minute. But yeah, I've gone and built the stone at his own little house. So here it is. I've been playing around, trying to make it look very homely and nice. And I've even... Put a little treasure chest up here for him that he can keep all his valuables. Or at least his tools anyway. So, yeah. And then his bedroom. Oops. Back here. I think I've done a pretty okay job with it. But, yeah. So, that's him. He's got his. And I like the fact as well. Yeah. I've got the garden out front. And, yeah. I think it looks nice. But, anyway. I just want to show it off. But, yeah. The houses. There's a few issues as you'll see. There are so many broken things just spawn in so much and yeah i've given up trying to repair them at the minute so yeah okay that one's cleaned now let's see if we can do because there is an issue with cleaning as well so let's just see yeah i'm checking behind because sometimes you can get things on the wall behind that need cleaning up okay that's you done fine and what about you? Yeah, I had a rock behind here but once before, so that needs repairing as well. Yeah, loads of things spawning in that need to be repaired. And there we go. So this house is doing it. It's, I've gone through, I've cleaned it. There's nothing. No, that's nothing. That's just the texture. Yeah, there's nothing on the outside that needs cleaning. And nothing on the inside that needs cleaning. And nope, nothing under the bed. Nothing behind. So unless I've gone completely blind, I cannot see what needs cleaning. And to make sure I've not missed anything, just use my ability. And yeah, it's showing here now that while this stuff that needs repairing, there's nothing that needs cleaning yet. Let's clean the house. So I don't know. This is happening quite a bit. So let me just get this one done. And while these can be frustrating, yet yeah, what's even more frustrating is let me just check. There we go. You're done fine. These ones over here, yeah, because. It doesn't register now where each room is. It just seems to put it on anything and everything. So, as you can see there. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of stuff that spawned in here. And by the time you go around and clean it and get everything up. Yeah, you're... Um, oh, I didn't notice that before. Okay, there's a gap there. All right, never mind. Yeah, by the time you go around and cleaned it all up and got everything, yeah, more stuff starts spawning in. So technically, you can get into a bit of a loop here trying to clean up. But I'm not going to do all of that now. I'm just wanting to show them bits off first. So, as you may have noticed already, I have... Okay, wait a minute. I've accidentally missed something, so just bear with me a second. But, yeah, I've got a little area set up here because... When I was doing my practice run, um, I accidentally clicked on something and 
realise that, yeah, there's more to changing the aesthetic than I thought previously. So just bear with me because, yeah, I need to um, change a few bits around. There is seven of everything now, or at least the majority of things. And you'll see why I've done that in a moment. But yeah, let's just go into Alter. And as you can see, there are seven different parts. And I didn't realise when I first saw this, you know, with the castle. I, I knew it meant something, but I didn't realise these ones on the outside are, yeah, for the castle pieces. So if I just go rock here... And we do it all on the house piece. You know, yeah, that's what it looks like. But now, yeah, all castle pieces can also be changed. So, that's nice. I do like that. Because they all look different. However, there is a few little bugbears that we'll get into in a minute. Yeah, um... Uh, so if we do the smooth rock, there we go, and that's you on the normal, and there we go here. First, that doesn't look smooth to me. That that one looks more smooth than that one. But picks, picky's going to pick, aren't we? So, I mean, the stairs look smooth. I'll give them that. But, yeah, and this looks quite smooth as well. Actually, I do... Oh, I never noticed that in the middle of it there, that pattern. That's a nice touch. I do like that. Okay, it's on the outside as well. So that is a nice touch. But, yeah, that one doesn't look too smooth. In fact, that one looks more climbable than that one. But, anyway. That's me being picky. So, yeah, if we just change them over there. There we go. And, yeah, move on to the next one. Because this is the one that we usually have the pristine rock. For um, if we do castle walls on the house, so I don't think this should be pristine rock wall yet. To me, this one should be under the next one. This one should be under plaster because yeah, apart from again, apart from the stairs, yeah, it kind of looks like plaster from the house section, as you'll see in a minute. But yeah, on the house one we get what I would say is the actual proper castle wall one. It's very similar to that, if not identical. But yeah, that looks more like plaster to me. Well, never mind. We move to plaster now. Yeah, so you've got the plaster there. You can see there how it looks. Very nice. And then... Yeah, this one looks more like pristine rock. So personally, I'd swap these two over. My opinion. But yeah, I'd swap them two over. And I'd swap these two over as well. Because, yeah, it just... To me, they just look like they're in the wrong section. I don't know. Let me know. Let the devs know what you think as well. Because, yeah, pristine rock. This is, I mean, look at how nice that is. I mean, they've put a lot of work into it, but they just put it under the wrong tag. Just swap the tags around on them two. Swap the tags around on these two. And there'll be no issue. And to say that is my only issue with the, with them, that's saying a lot. But if you go to fine plaster, again, not fine plaster. It's rock. But again, I'm not going to be too picky. Fine. Right. Just go and change all these. And, yeah, again, just compare it to the house. And, yeah, I get it. The plaster is nice on the house. So, on the house, they all look like they should do. I just think they've been putting the wrong tag on the castle. That's all. But going on to old wood... Or saying that, this is where I'm going to have an issue now with the house more than the castle. But then again, the castle, again, why not put it as actual wood? To, I mean, you have wood earlier on for the border, meaning, no, when you're upgrading, not the fencing, the actual 
pikes and spikes and all that stuff. So why not have the same sort of design for them? And, okay, I could kind of understand it not working for this area. You know, the walls here. But, then again, maybe it would. You know, you could have it like, you know, going from left to right. Instead of going top to bottom, have it going left to right and then, you know, tied up with something. I don't know. Just my thought. And then, yeah, you've got just wood. Now... It says I can change it, but I don't see any difference. Maybe I will in editing, or maybe use will, and you can let me know. But if I say I want to change this to old wood, I don't see a difference apart from now it won't let me change it again. So if anybody sees anything different, please let me know because I don't. However, we go back to the front. Yeah, again, it's saying it's changing it, but I don't see any change whatsoever. But this is where it gets me frustrated, because, yeah. Just swap them two around. Leave the floors the same. Leave the roof the, the same. Just swap the middle around. Or swap the floors and swap that and leave the middle. I don't have the wood, all three wood. You know, dark. And then have the old wood white because it's been bleached by the sun and weather and whatnot. That's the, that is the only pick I've got on the housing. And yeah, when I'm saying about this, I mean, I've got no problem with how they look. They all look great. But it's me being me and getting picky. Yeah. Swap the tags around on these two. Swap the tags on these two. And you, I, I wouldn't have any issues whatsoever. And yeah. Swap the flooring around on these because it's really annoying me. The fact that it doesn't match. Never mind. Never mind. Let's get on with the castle. I just wanted to show that off and that's taken the full day. So I'm just going to knock all this down now to get as much back as I can. And then I will see you first thing in the morning. And what a lovely morning it is. So, you may have noticed yet, yeah, I have knocked down the little walls that had started here from the previous one. If not, well, you haven't noticed anything and there's nothing to worry about. Because, yeah, um, I accidentally, again, I'll admit it was accidental. Yeah, um, figured a little easier way than the little than the way I had it. So, I only need two now. Now, for anybody who's not sure what I'm going on about, the castle gates down here are an absolute pain because it wants to clip onto them, but it doesn't clip right. It either clips sideways or it clips to the front and it's out. As you can see there, yeah, it doesn't fit properly so if i was to put that there and then try building a wall around it yeah the wall would be out but i figured a way out so all i need to do is get down to here and i can't believe we i never notice it look up that's it just look up if you're looking up it won't clip oh there you go yeah so put the cursor just at the bottom there at, of the arch and you can just about see where the floor is without yeah, it clipping. Then you can line it up and get it in place. The only issue you might have is trying to get it in the right spot. So, that there and okay, there's the smallest of Gaps, that's going to annoy me. Give me a second, let me try that one again. So, it's not that... Just smallest movement, pixel, perfect... No, nope, I'm going to... No, I clicked, I wasn't ready. Yeah, that's glitched into that now. So, yeah, if I was to say... 
No, not you. You. Destroy it. Yeah, you can see there. There's quite a bit of it over. So let's try that one more time. And anybody who knows me knows I will sit here for the next five days trying to get this right. So let's hope I don't have to wait that long. So just line you up there. Come on. Just a slight bit. Not moving too much. And there we go. Is that? There we go. Did it. Third time lucky. Perfect. And, yep, yeah, it's in on the sides. Right. Now, normally, we would do that. We would normally, as I say, we'd have a little bit of round to try and clip it in. And because sizes. This used to be five squares wide. It's now six. Yeah, we measured it in a previous episode before the update. It was five. We're now, yeah. Now it fills up a full six. So now, when we... No, 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 not you. Give me a second. Now, when we put... No, not again. You in. And it clips in. Yeah, it now clips to the wall. And if we were to go around... Do that quickly. And do it like that. Yeah, normally, or last time when I did that, you'd put that in and there'd be a gap between these two here. There's no gap. It fits in perfect. So, yeah, we are now good to go with that. So, I'm just going to quickly get rid of these a minute. I'm going to put some of these down, but again, but for now, yeah. I'm going to do that because, yes, we are gonna put our walls in so I want where do we want you know what let's put you there like that and then you there like that and we'll show off why I've done it like that in a minute but now yeah let's get the walls in there as I say you could leave it like that but yeah the gatehouse is taller so personally i prefer going too high but if you were to go one high then yeah you could nice and easily just go you there and then when you get to the gatehouse you know up another set of stairs up on top of the gatehouse or you could say you know forget that let's go down here and put you on there and then you can't get through well you can but you know nobody else is going to be able to get through because nobody else can jump so yeah i mean that's something you could do but no i prefer the two personal opinion personal preference but i do right we we'll just get rid of you and we'll put two up there and i'll put the one there and on this side i need two because yes Normally, or the easiest way to do it is do that, turn them around, and there you go. Set of stairs, you're now up top. Lovely. Or, if you want to put a bit of a twist on it, literally, there you go. Just do that like that. And then, yeah, you just put them on there like that. There you go. You've got a nice little wall there to stop anyone falling off. And up you go. Again, it's just aesthetic. But, yeah, there you go. I like it. So, there we go. Quick and easy. And you can then go and put it in. And if you want, then, yeah, you can put towels in. And we'll get onto the towels and the walls later on. Because, yeah. Well, last time, we had to put the walls in. And then look at building inside it. Yeah, this time, because of all the extra space, we can do it the other way around. So, first thing we need to do is measure out how far away we're going to get. So if we do it from there, I want you there, and then I want to go 5B5. Would that be enough, I wonder? Hmm. No, do 77. Do it at 77. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go, that'll do. 
So this is going to be the courtyard. That's still the reason I want it, because I want a nice square courtyard. Let's just fill this in quickly, and then, yeah. We're going to leave the middle one empty, because there's going to be something we're going to do with that later on. And I don't know if you need it as grass, or you can put it on these floors. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as grass there. And then, just... Make sure I'm in the middle. One more. Excuse me. Thank you. There. Nope. No, no. Need a few more. Sorry. You and you. There we go. Right. That is all we need because what we'll do now is... Now, you don't have to put it up higher, but... I, did I, put... I didn't need you. Sorry. Miscounted. There. Yeah, but because I want to put storage and dungeons in, yeah, because you can't dig underground, I'm going to have to make the ground floor or the base floor one up. So, okay, fine. And we'll get round to sorting these out in a bit. Now, you can't, if I was to say, let's just put you down here a minute. Let's just go and show this off. Put you there and then go... Put the walls in. Thank you. And put a roof on. And because it won't let me put anything in there. Let me just put you there. And then some stairs so I can get up. That's the only reason I'm putting these on there. Yeah. Now, if I wanted to build a room on top of this, you can. You cannot put the for rent sign up on these. Won't register it. Doesn't matter which side you're on. It will not register and you cannot try renting them. So, it's only the house pieces. But, if you come to do the house, you can't put house pieces on and you can't attach them to it in any way. So, what we need to do then is come over to here because this is where we're going to actually let me just destroy this and get the stuff back and yeah what we'll do is we'll now go over that way and we'll build it over here because what we need to do is yeah just build a house so we'll just go for a moment we need to obviously where we're going to place it so we'll have it you come in and I'll get into this again a bit more later on, but yeah, these pieces are great for hallways, not so great for rooms. So we're going to have to do something about that later on. But yeah, I mean, if you want it as a hallway, it's fine because you can just go put them in there. You know what? I might as well show this off now while I'm here. And put you in there. I don't know why I went up that way, but never mind. And use it in there. So, yeah, as a hallway, it looks fine. And, you know, I'll put you in like that just for now. And we'll sort all that out later on. But, yeah, hallway, it's great. However, if you were wanting to do it as a room of four or six. No, not six. Sorry, a four or nine for, say, the throne. Well, you might want it as a six, actually. You might want to do it as a two. A 2b3 of these so yeah um, let's do it as if we were doing a six then since I said six first yeah you're gonna have pillars in the middle and while yes you know especially if you're gonna do it as like a nine so let's do that you could say okay well that's fine because throne rooms have pillars yeah they do but they go from floor to ceiling so either you're gonna have to have a very low ceiling, what really in a throne room you don't want, as far as I can think. Or, yeah, you have all these little bits sticking out over it. And it just loses a bit of the aesthetic for me. Because, yeah, it just doesn't look right. Because if you're doing a throne room, 
you want one big open area, or at least, you know, I do. And then if we want pillars in, there's plenty of pillars I can put down. But we're not doing the throne room today. I just wanted to show it off while we're here. But what we are going to do is build ourselves the house. So, as I say, if I tried to attach anything to this, the wood or anything, it's not going to work. It's not going to clip in. It's not going to join. And I can't build on it or anything. So, what we need to do is, just like we did down there, let's get this in here as close as we can. We want it right on there. Okay, so we'll do that. And then I'm going to put you up to there. And then you on there and now we just go up and we build as we would normally so i come to here a minute and there we go get you on there and because it's um actually treasury what does he want 15 so yeah it's gonna have to be pretty big so we have to do the floor down here a little bit bigger. So two, three, six, nine, eight. There we go. Right, five by three you can have them. Fine. And not that it matters, but yeah, let's just put you along there. We'll sort that out later on. Because we can use this. I'm not going to let this go to waste. We'll see what that's going to be later on. I'm going to add to it and everything else. Actually, I need to put the walls in, don't I, for support. Right. Okay, you there, you there. And you can go there. Because, yeah, I might be expanding on this. I don't know yet. We'll see. But it's getting dark. Right. Right. I'm not going back all the way there for, for a bed. Let's just quickly grab a bed and turn it to day. There we go. Yeah, just do that. There we go. Brilliant. Right. So, as I was saying, let's get you down here now. And quickly just go through and build up the house as we we're going to so now the roof could be a little bit tricky so let's see how are we gonna do that because okay let's use Yeah, it's going to be three. So, okay, let's go with the old trick for now. Let's just use the old trick of putting that in and then having it face inwards because, yeah, you want the outside to be flat. So, spin them all around. As I say, just make sure they're pointing inwards and there should be no issue should be being okay sports missing it's okay i can get them sorted in a minute there we go right got that there let's yeah let's um put it in and you know what nice and um, nice wood i think let's just quickly Go round, and you can tell that I've not put any thought into this whatsoever. So let's do that. And flooring, yeah, plaster. That's got the nice floor. So that's okay. Okay, there we go with that. And I'm gonna need something. So where can I put it? Gonna have to be if I do that one, yeah. Put it here. This can be like his bedroom, maybe. I don't know yet, but we'll put a door there and then go you and you. Right, 
Right, that, apart from, why have I given windows? Duh, very clever. Right, let's try that one again. There we go, that's better. I've done that, what means now I should be able to do that. No, okay. You need direct support, of course you, because if you could have one spare, then... Okay, well, you can have a toilet then. Okay. See that there and that there. Right. I'll put this as a toilet room then. Right. There we go. And yeah, I know I could have just edited all that so it was up looking all nice. But I like to show you issues that I come across and I will get past them. So you can do the same if you come up against them. Right, so there we go. We've got that. Let's now put the doors on. So a nice fancy door for the front. So put you on there. Open these up. And unfortunately it is getting a bit dark in here. So I'll sort that in a minute. But yeah, let's put the shutters on his windows. That way then. Nobody can see. Plus, as well, it stops the wind. Or at least I think it does. So there we go. That's the basic stone. Let's get out and put the rent sign on. And see now, that should let us rent it. Nope, because I forgot downstairs. Sorry. Yeah, I forgot to do this. Right, in that case, let's go... Yeah, need another door for there, so you're on that. Right, that should now be everything in place. And we can sort that out later on. So, oh, okay, what's going on? Because they're saying house readiness, yes, but you're saying no. Is that because you haven't put these in? Okay, let's put these in and see. So, bed, table, chairs, closet. Okay, well, they're easy enough to do. Bed, you can have a nice, lovely bed. Okay. Go, ooh. Yeah, you can go on that wall, I think. Because there's nothing on that one. So, bed there in the middle. Come on. There we go. Okay, so you're a treasurer, so you know what? Let's give you some books on it. You want books anyway, but let's um, put some in here. Come on. There we go. That will do. That looks nice. And, okay, what else do you... Oh, table and chairs, yes. So, kitchen. Let's go with... Yeah, we'll go with the nice table here. And you there. And unfortunately, yeah, there's only really one single chair that I like. It's that one for, you know, the dining room table sort of chairs. So, you in there. Like that. There we go. That looks nice. Okay, what else do you want? Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, four books and two chests. Okay, that's fine. But what we need to do first is... Is there a nice table? You. Yeah, you look like a nice one to work off. So, you in the corner there. This can be your work table. And then I'll put the leather one in here. This is your work one. This isn't to sit down while eating, looking nice and comfy. Okay. And miscellaneous because you want books. Oh, actually chest. Yeah. Let's get you. And you can come in here. Right. Probably not the best idea to put it by a window. But, you know, keep your window shut. It should be fine. You wanted two, didn't you? So, let's get the other one in. No, I didn't think you could stack them. There we go. There we go. We've got a heavy-duty one and a, one a bit more lighter. That'll do. 
Right, books. Okay, where's the books? Let's have a look. There, so we'll put one. Oops. Put one there to make it look like you're reading it or writing in it, whatever the case may be. Uh, oh, okay. We've got a. Right, shelving. Let's get some shelving up, shall we? And there we go. There are, yes, some shelves here. So, put you there. And you there. That'll do. And I can put some books on them. So, you can go there. No, no, no. Not that way. You're facing the wrong way. Put binders towards me, please. Yeah. There we go. That's page. Don't have the pages facing outwards. What sort of monster are you? Right. And then let's have a look. Yeah, look at you on there. Let's get up. Come on. There we go. You there. And one more, I think. Yeah, you. Go in there. There we go. Now, is that enough? I'll have a look in a minute, but we're going to need some lighting because it is pretty dark. So, let's put a candle here. Yeah, that should be okay. Shouldn't set any of them on fire. And, of course, yeah, you're going to be wanting to have a drink while you're working. So, I'll just put that in there. And light that a minute there we go yeah there you go that puts a, a nice bit of light on there but right light now so what sort of lighting yeah let's just go with these nice simple and i know i've not done the bathroom yet but oh we'll get to that in a minute but for now yeah just put one on each side of the door you and you know what might as well do the same on this one and of course yeah use like that right in here i'll put see by the door again because that just looks nice but instead of doing that yeah i'm gonna put use here and okay maybe having all these open flames around wood and books isn't the best idea but i'm not the one living in here so yeah i'm not too bothered all right there we go and quickly get all these lit up hopefully then it will be bright enough to see and then yeah i can see if we're done or not Right, there we go. And yeah, there we go. It's quite bright in there now. Yeah, there we go. House is ready. I just need to get the value up. Jeez, he is picky, isn't he? Right. Okay, that's fine. Because there's plenty of bits I can do. So, let's have a look. Is there... Yeah, let's give you a bowl each. I don't know if he's going to have friends over or not. But, might as well... Have them there for him. Oh, wait a minute. You're a bit too far away. There we go. And you. That's a bit better. Right. We've got you. And. Yeah, let's put you in the middle. That will do nicely. Some grain and apples. And yeah, you know what? We'll have a cheese board. Thank you. Um, anything else? Not really. So, no, I can't see anything else in name of mage. Oh, you're having a drink. You're going to need a bottle of wine, aren't you? So there you go. Oh, where did that go? I don't know where you went. Well, okay, you just disappeared. There we go. That's better. Right. And, you know what, let's give him some pictures to look at. You know what, yeah, let's uh, have one on here of his wife. I'm assuming he's got a wife. Oh, okay, may not be there because it's a bit dark. Put it on this one then. 
Build that, but okay, that'll do. And in here, yeah, you can have what? No, 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 swap it around. Swap it around. You can come in here where it's nice and bright. There we go. So now you've got a picture of your wife next to your bed. Don't know where she is, but there. And you can have the one of you, your wife and your child. And go there. Yeah, you, your daughter and your wife can go there. That's nice. Um, a mirror. Well, it's a bathroom, so okay. Mirror there and I mean kitchen no chairs isn't it? it's right at the bottom of chair where's can't remember which one it's under in other down to the bottom a minute no hmm Ah, basins. Right, it's on the basins. I don't know why it's on the basin, but never mind. Right. There we go. There you go. You got yourself a nice toilet there to use. And that. I think that's a candle on there, but it doesn't look like it can light itself. So never mind. Um, Sink. We need ourselves a sink. So, you. There we go. Right, is that enough, or do we need more? Jeez, we need more. Right, I'll be back in a minute once I've given him... Who knows how much more stuff. Okay, finally. Taking a while, but I've finally got it all in. It's all there. All looking good. And I can get him in. So, treasurer is in. Yes. There we go. So, the royal treasurer's... Responsible for collecting rents and taxes. His useful work saves the king a lot of time and effort, which he can otherwise spend on designing the castle. Your free accommodation and cleaning, as well as small payment for his service. Okay. So I've got to pay you. Jeez. Right. Okay. There we go. We've got it in. And now you're probably wondering, well, okay. So I've got it in and I've got that. So what? Is it? Well, you know what we do now? We build, just like we did Dingy, around it. The only difference is... Yeah, if I just come and quickly put these on there a minute. Yeah, now what we can do is if I go like that there, and I don't actually want you on it. Your... Yeah, put a window there. Okay, you know what? Um, hmm... Shouldn't have put the window there and actually now thinking about this. But never mind, never mind. What we'll do is... Yeah, I just blocked this one off now. I was going to go in and say, you know, let's go in and put... Actually, no, I can still do it. Yeah, because we've got the door. So I can put the door in there. And I can still have this as some sort of passageway. If need be. If not, I can change it. And I could do the same with that. The only problem is, yeah, it blocks up the sign there, so I can't see if there's anything wrong with the house. But the rest of it, yeah, I can now go. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, let's put you in there. You're going to be a doorway, so that can go there, and then you can go in there. Fine. There we go. We've now got it, and yes, I know... That there, again, I should have... No, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because all I'll do now is I'll go... You there. And... Oh, I'm going to have a bit of an issue here now. Um, Is it going to let me put it in? This is... Yeah, it will. Just have to close the door. Do that like that there. You go up there. And... I don't know if that went in right, so let's just do this again quickly. Now, I know you're probably wondering, well, what am I going to do with all this area here and all that? Well, that that comes in in a little bit. But for now, yeah, this is 
the best way to get yourself your castle with a room in it. And now you can go around building all the rooms you wish. Ah, I've run out of money. Okay. Assume you've got the money. Anyway. Yeah, all the rooms you wish. And then you'll have a nice up and downstairs area. And yeah. It'll look really good when we're done. But for now, yeah. As I have run out of money, there's not much more I can do. And yeah, all I'm going to do with this for now is I might actually yeah let's knock that down because I don't need you and I guess no yeah there you go I've got money for it now yeah so all I'll do is I'll put another one of these up here along the top and build into it and we're gonna start building up and out but for now I'm gonna leave it there and then next time we're going for the throne room yeah we're going to go in, we're going to build ourselves a throne room down here. So we'll go in and I'll show off how to add that into your castle. And really already? Okay, well I've not shown it off. So yeah, I've got a nice little cage there and you'll see why in a moment. Uh, really? You've broken some already? Great. Okay, that's fine. I've got his... I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to ask. Yeah. I'm guessing you were celebrating last night or something, but yeah, bathroom there, a nice sword up there, pet dog or wolf, whichever one, you know, you want. Oh, good. Take that with me in a minute. And yeah, I've had to just move things around a little bit and I've put him some curtains up as well. What looks nice because yeah, you come in and he can do that. Or if he... Just shut them a minute. Can I? No, I don't think he can shut the curtains. Shame. Yeah, I'm going to do that so we can open them, should he wish. Yeah, there we go. That's going to look nice. So, yeah, the only one I'm actually going to probably leave is this one. Because I'm going to use that as a dumping pit for his toilet waste. But, as I say, I'll show that off later on. But, for now, yeah, there we go. You've got it. Build the room. Get it all in. Oh, it's down the bottom. That's where they all are. Yeah, I forgot. Because I've got... This section now, yeah, um, this is going to need cleaning. But, yeah, we're going to be doing something with this later on. Don't you worry. Okay, the curtains have kind of um, gone through the floor, but never mind. Just pretend you didn't see that. Just pretend everything's perfect. No need to worry. But, yeah, there we go. That is how you add a room into your castle. Um... Where's the wood gone? Ah, there it is. Yeah, um, so there we go. We're going to go on. Next time, as I say, we'll add onto it. We'll get the throne room in. And we'll probably put some more rooms in. Although, whether we rent them out or not, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But yeah. We're going to get ourselves a throne room, an armory, a dungeon, um, a kitchen, a mess hall. Yeah, we're going to get it all in eventually. So, for now, that is the end for today. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's give you some ideas of what you can do. And, yeah, I've um, been collecting quite a bit. Excuse me. There's a gap there. Fill that in, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of all this yet because there's that much of it. I'm just saving it. Basically, that's going to be... This is going to pay for the final objective once I've finished all of this off and I've got myself the castle built. So yeah, I hope you are looking forward to all of that. If you've got anything, like I've said before, anything you want to see, let me know. I will give it a try and I can't guarantee it'll be done, how quick it'll be done, because it depends on how many attempts it takes me to figure it out. But yeah, that is... How to add a rentable room into your castle. So, hopefully you've enjoyed that. And hopefully I will see you all very, very soon. But in the meantime, I've been Sanky 84 This has been Castle Flipper. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after each other. And until next time, goodbye.